In the last video, we went over how to do a give and go. Give and goes look something like this. But how do we defend a give and go if we are on the other team? That is the subject of this video. So, for starters, a give and go is rarely a true 2v1. It's more often a 2v2, but in a position to where the second defender here can't really make too much of a play on the ball out here because they have to be aware of the player here. So if the ball comes here, they can't just try to turn because they could get spun, and that's more dangerous if the number 10 turns here. So how does this work? What do we do? Well, let's start out. The first mistake that we normally see happen here is this. If number nine passes the ball here to number 10, the most common thing that seems to happen is two will turn and they'll start to head towards the ball. However, the problem is, is by the time that's happened, the ball can get played and it's in behind both players. So we want to try to avoid that. So how do we do that? Well, the secret is this. After that ball's played, Number two needs to focus on number nine, and they need to follow number nine and stay with them. Because if they stay with them, the give and go is essentially canceled. and We're still in this 1v1 scenario, or possibly even number two can pick off the ball. Then we have a 2v1 going in the opposite direction. So the key to defending a give and go is after the ball is played, do not turn your head and look where the ball's gone. Keep with your player and turn and run with them. Cover the run.